this video, we are going to be looking back at the excellent 2014 salmon fishing season. It was a fantastic year of kayak fishing for Chinook, and especially coho salmon. We've already had a few good days of steelhead fishing where I was able to catch my personal best steelhead, and the salmon season got off to a good start with a big hookup that was sure to be a big fish. After a hard strike, I knew it was a good fish and I was not going to be able to horse it in with the tackle I was using. After sitting on the bottom for a little while, the fish started heading downstream. You can see the main group of salmon fishing boats about a quarter mile away. The fish turns towards the main channel and comes to the surface. It's a big one. It heads for the bottom and starts downstream again. The fish is easily pulling my 13-foot kayak. What a ride! It comes to the surface again, gets a look at the kayak, and heads back down to the bottom. I'm not getting any closer to landing the fish, and I'm getting closer to the pack of boats. It's looking like the fish is heading for deep water and through the pack. 
I don't want to go through the fleet with a fish on, so I've got to try and turn it into the channel or get it into the kayak. I'm trying to put more pressure on the fish, but it's not doing much. see the fish. It's a big salmon. We've got to try and get it into the kayak before we drift into the pack of boats. I try to turn the kayak to stay away from the other boats. fish is swimming straight into the pack of boats. Time to try and land it before that happens. The boats are only a few feet away. I've got to turn the kayak towards the main channel. Fortunately, the fish turns and heads back upstream. The big salmon looks tired out. I paddle away from the other boats a bit more. This is a big fish. I don't want to lose it now. I need to get a little more distance from the pack so I can land the fish. Big coho salmon. I wish I didn't leave my landing net at home, but this salmon might be too big to fit into the net. The lip grippers aren't going to cut it. Going to have to get it into the kayak the old-fashioned way. First salmon of the year, biggest salmon of the year. A good thing about kayak fishing is that you can launch at places where regular boats can't. 
Humping the kayak and fishing gear down a cliff in the dark is not for everyone. It's all worth it because at sunrise we are hooked up again. It's November, but the weather is beautiful. Oh yeah. This is a wild salmon. We'll take a picture and release it. We caught six salmon today. All but two were wild fish and released. It's starting to feel a little more like autumn, and I got a hookup just as the sun was coming. brought the net this time. In the boat. Just after sunrise and two salmon in the kayak. We've been having great luck catching coho salmon, but so far I'd only caught a couple native Chinook salmon that I released. That situation would change today. With one Chinook salmon on the stringer, the next hookup of the day looked to be a good one. This felt like a nice fish. After a good fight, I was able to get a chunky Chinook salmon netted and in the kayak. Two nice Chinook salmon caught on a rainy October day on the Columbia River. The weather is a little nicer today, and we are back on the river. We weren't having much luck casting plugs and spinners, so I tried trolling in deeper water. That worked out a little better. 
It's a Chinook salmon caught on a flasher wriggle war combo with a small sliding egg sinker. It's mid-October and this salmon is already looking a little dark. Still plenty edible, so it's on the stringer. The clouds are back and we've had some rain. So the water is a bit dirty and there are a lot of leaves and stuff in the water. The salmon are still biting though. Another nice Chinook salmon in the kayak. The salmon fishing on the main river was a little slow, so we headed out to the Klickitat River where the fish were a little more active. The water was still dirty from recent rain. Nice coho salmon in the boat. Because of the turbid water conditions, the fishing was slow and I didn't get another hookup until later in the afternoon. After a good fight, I netted another coho salmon. Not a bad day of salmon fishing. October has passed into November and we are back on the Columbia River. It's getting colder, but the salmon are still biting. It's a big coho salmon. Getting the fish into the net is more of a challenge than usual.
Got it. Another hookup as the wind starts to pick up a bit. Whoa. This one's a runner. Another nice coho. It's late November and there's hardly anybody fishing, but there are still a few salmon willing to bite. A silvery late season coho salmon. Another hookup. This spot has really been good to us this year. It's a nice coho salmon. What would turn out to be the last salmon of the kayak fishing season is in the boat. That wraps up another fantastic kayak fishing season. As I paddle up this river that hasn't seen any fish for a few years, there are solid indications that next year, this river will be full of salmon and steelhead. See you on the water next season. Waterman at work.com